Hello. Hello. Ash is telling me we'll have to be quick because I forgot the selfie stick and we're doing um, a review of some deals and just talking through how we got the deals, what happened, mm -hmm. what went well, what went badly. And we're in a car, apart from Ash having told Zama, but I just think it's good for his muscles. Um, we're in a park. So behind us is the property there. There. Um, and that was. Hang on, uh, hang on. Oh, look at this. That's probably upside down though, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So your park is upside down. So we are sat on the wall of a park yeah. looking into this gorgeous Bristol Park and that house looks straight onto this beautiful Bristol Park. So this is our deal number 142. So this must have been year three, year four? Um, 2014 or 2015. Yeah. I think. So this we um, um, we want to talk through. This was a buy to sell, and it yeah. was with a JV partner, with an absolutely smashing guy that we like very yeah. much. Just one of our favourite people. To, well, yeah, one of our favourite people to work with. Absolutely mm -hmm. calm, measured guy. And there's some pluses and some minuses to the project again, which I think is kind of worth talking yeah. through. So, what are the figures? Uh, so we bought it for one nine two and a half. Yep. Um, I think it ended up being one nine three actually in the right. end. Okay. Um, and it was bought pre-auction yes so oh, yeah. we exchanged on it I think the day before the auction or possibly the day of the auction something like that um, and you know um, in terms of what it was worth it was worth about 260 um, that you, know, you valued it up as what, once it was what, done up yeah one, once done we we thought it'd be worth 260 uh, on the face of it it was pretty straightforward guy had bought it looked to do the work didn't finish it had a divorce um, yes. And then, you know, I kept it empty for a number of years and then had to sell it. So, it's you know. It's half renovated, wasn't it? Part renovated, yeah. yeah. So he still had quite a bit to do. He'd, um, um, he'd done most of the, like, the ripping out and stuff like that. And yes. he'd done an extension, yes. but not got any like planning That's or right. uh, notified building regs or anything like that. So we had to do a couple of things um, in terms of the refurb. Had to um, get a regularization application for the, the works that were done. Yeah. Um, so getting the council out to rectify that. Um, just in case someone hasn't done that before, what do you do? So works uh, have been well, done. You can he do, didn't you do planning and he didn't do he didn't do building regs. Yeah, you can do a couple couple of ways. So you need to check to see whether you've got it. Um, you're able to do this sort of work under your permitted development rights. Yeah. Um, if it if it is, then great, that's fine. You just get um, building regs sign off. Now you can do that one or two ways. You can get a private firm, um, or you can use your local authority. We got um, a private firm. Didn't we, we? we use local authority oh, for this we one. Oh, did in this one, yes. Um, and, and therein lies you know, a slight kind of problem because quite often with a local authority, they'll be far more kind of scrupulous stringent. and stringent, yeah. Uh, whereas a, um, a private, private firm, you know, they'll be a little bit more flexible. Flexible. Yes. Our builders like the commercial guys, don't they? Yeah. yeah. I like working with the local authority. But the builders prefer yeah, commercial. I, 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 yeah, it, it, it depends. Depends what you prefer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so so we managed to get that sorted. Um, the refurb was a full refurb, um, and uh, I'm just trying to think what else. Do you remember there was a risk? So on something like this, we bought it pre, and because the guy ha we had to get the regularisation, and mm -hmm. so we couldn't exactly say how much the refurb was going to cost, could we? Because if the regularisation went through fine, then the refurb was going to cost this, but there was always a risk that, say, the building regs guys turned yeah. around and said, I'm sorry, you've got to uncover that and you've got to do, redo that piece of work. Mm -hmm. And I do remember a scary moment where the building regs guy said, I need you to dig down. Was it, um, I can't remember how deep now. There was an inspection now. thing, That's like um, yeah. 50 centimetres down or something like That's that. That's right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I do remember holding my breath, thinking, please, please pass the work. Because, I mean, we'd, we'd you know, discussed yeah. this with the investor, so we hadn't said, oh, it'll be fine. We'd said, well, we think it's a deal. And even if it's worst case scenario and we have to pay a lot more on refurb because we have to redo stuff, mm -hmm. we still think it's a really good deal. Yeah. But it passed. But it was a kind of an anxious moment. Yes. Yes. Um, and what did we sell it for? 260. Oh, so we sold it spot on what we said the mm -hmm. refurb, uh, yeah. the, 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 the sale price was. Yeah. Exactly what our deal I think report said. Part, part of the reason why it only sold for 260 was because it was um, kind of, everything had been ripped out. So it didn't have any original features or anything oh, like yeah. that. So it was like an ultra modern finish, or yes. sort of. Um, a, a modern finish in a Victorian property overlooking a park where ultimately people want Mm -hmm. um, kind of like feature fireplaces and strip wooden floorboards, which it didn't have. So, 
Um, you know, if it, if it did have those things, I think it would probably get more, but you know, it's one of those things. So if you did it again, what would you change? Uh, I'd probably put in some feature fireplaces, I think. Yeah. And yeah. maybe some strip wooden floorboards, but you know, the, the, there's extra cost in that. Um, and it's costs we, we decided not to. Yes. So. And also be aware when you do buy to sell that it's not just the bought for, the renovated and sold for. I mean, there's all the odds and sods or, um, like you know the council tax the water rates the, and all mm -hmm. the rest of it but also if you're using funding that can be really quite a hefty cost because by the time you buy it renovate it get it sold and then the person's money comes through that can take a significant number of months and that can really take away a bit of the profit so if you're doing a buy to sell and you're thinking oh this sounds quite good just plug in figures which are all about the fees and the the loan costs if you're actually going to use someone else's money as in the bank's money in it um, because that that certainly took a wee bit of the profit away too didn't it yeah yeah i think i think it's always important to check your finance costs and do it like stress test it on yeah a longer turnaround time as well yeah just in case yeah. like it falls out of bed anything else that was great or difficult that um the guys would find quite useful uh i think location was really good for this one i, I was i loved this location yeah i mean location's um, great i think you, you you need to know your target audience and that may be somewhere where we could have improved on in this one I think you know with the, feature fireplaces. With the fireplaces and stuff like that yeah. um, just and the best way of doing that is get local agents advice and just see what people want in a property um, yeah. yeah that's best best advice you can give really on this one. and then I guess the other thing is sometimes you're going to take a risk and you're like well okay so best case scenario it's going to cost us this worst case scenario because of course this guy didn't have all the permits if you like that he should have had not permits but you know the, mm -hmm. the kind of passes if you like with the authorities um, and although we were a bit nervous about that we discussed the worst case scenario and we still thought it was really sensible to go for it so it's worth sometimes going okay I don't know my exact cost because of this scenario so I know what the scenario is I know what the worst case and the best case and my cost is somewhere in between for the refurb go for it yeah. so I guess before we say goodbye I'm just going to show you the park because it's so beautiful but not upside I down I thought we did it oh we did it there you go. Oh. How, lov how lovely is that Right, on to the next one, and then we can talk through more deals with you guys. Hopefully you can look at, well, if they did that, maybe I could do something like that too. See you soon. Bye.